going on there folks good afternoon uh, good evening to some out there it's the uh, earth master here on this friday friday afternoon march 18th 2022 uh, about 303 p.m california time the latest quake out there shows a 3.0 into the region of southern california right now let's go ahead and check out this activity showing up here on the map from the usgs folks here you can see that in that red circle there indicating that most recent earthquake there around lone pine 3.0 at 6.5 kilometers this is a 2.5 map and above so a little activity striking over a good portion of southern and central california today also low activity just outside of salton city california west side of the salton sea 2.9 at 6.7 kilometers let's go ahead and add the all magnitudes get a little a uh, brief detail of any further swarming activity and there's really not a whole lot temp uh, right now uh, it could kick up no doubt uh, this earthquake here the 3.0 just outside of mount whitney which sits here to the west it is at the owens valley fault zone just off of there um just a couple miles off of there from the 1872 rupture a pretty large earthquake struck back then and just to the east here it looks like around the owens uh, valley uh, river area uh, back and out of here, nothing new to report in Northern California. Some activity kicking up once again around Mount Hood and around the area outside of Sweet Home. It looks like a little activity up here near Lacombe, Oregon, 2.6 and a 1.1. But uh, kind of watching this Mount Hood activity, seeing if this is going to develop into anything major. Uh, we are looking at 20 earthquakes so far in this uh, sequence of swarms the largest one so far i believe is just a 1.7 and we've seen a couple of them so uh let's go ahead and check out the uh, uh tremor mass map is not updated yet but i do want to check out the mount hood uh, latest seismograph stations here and we can check out this data from this um, seismograph there in the yellow and uh, we'll kind of see what uh what is being recorded here on the map any day there we go so yeah definitely uh what do we got here there's those 1.7s 2.6 near salem uh so definitely some activity kicking up there nothing within the past couple hours it looks like but uh swarms do happen at mountain hood they um actually pretty common it's been a couple months since we've had a swarm up there but uh they do pick up on occasion yellowstone national park uh, some activity here about nine earthquakes being reported from the USGS folks and the overview here of Yellowstone still shows activity kicking up here around this region of the park around Borehole right around the Lake Yellowstone area quite a bit of a very small earthquake but uh, swarming nonetheless uh, looking at the rest of the country some scattered activity throughout Texas and Oklahoma nothing major at the moment uh, what do we got out here on the Big Island some activity kicking up here southeast region latest quake at 2.1 no major swarming at Mauna Loa uh, Japan did see some fives kicking up here once again into the Japan trench couple lower grade fives and we're starting to see a little uptick in magnitude over here West Japan or Southwest Japan over here around Taiwan just to the northeast of here 5.9 this one pretty deep 167 kilometers so we've seen a really big push of energy here since the uh, 7.3 that struck off the coast of Japan a few days ago. So got to watch the, uh, the Taiwan and this area around the East Sea, East China Sea, uh, pretty closely for uh, possible large scale movement. Uh, there's a the movement, deep activity into the Fiji Islands area. This is some older movement. We have not seen any further subsequent activity in that area. Uh, although a 4.5 into the North Island, um, New Zealand area. Um, this earthquake, 47.4 kilometers, of course the Hikurangi subduction zone around here. Uh, it's a pretty deep earthquake within that region. Also earthquake activity here around the east or western, southeast Indian Ridge. We've got a couple different names here, uh, 5.0 at 10 kilometers. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, not a whole lot going on right now throughout the Med uh, Middle East or Mediterranean. Looks pretty quiet. Uh, at least according to the uh, USGS model. So we'll see uh, how that uh, picks up, if it will. Earthquakes Canada, some movement off the coast here of, uh, looks like the um, Vancouver Island ranges and up here along the 
northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, just to the west here, seen some activity. One earthquake here in the purple circle indicating the most recent quake here near Gold River, BC area at 2.2 kilometers. Uh, rest of Canada looks pretty quiet throughout the uh, Alberta region eastward and uh, low activity over here around Quebec. But uh, overall, just another day up there in Canada, right? All right, folks, um, let's see what else we got. Um, solar weather is pretty dim at the moment. Not a whole lot of uh, renewed activity there on the sun. Just kind of watching the severe weather threat in Texas Monday. Make sure you stay uh, tuned in to this channel uh, for some live storm chasing as we go out there and uh, see if we can't uh, catch a tornado or two out there around eastern Texas. But uh, like I say, be weather aware if you're out there and you are in the area. There's a uh, multi-day threat of severe potential out there in the region of uh Texas, uh, parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Louisiana, and further east throughout the middle of the week next week. So just uh, stay safe, guys. We'll chat to you a little bit later. Have a good night. Peace out, everyone.